Hello, hello guys. What's up everybody? Happy New Year. I hope everyone is fine. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Agar here. My name is Phil, a Kenya working in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, and thank you guys for your support. I really appreciate. In case this is your first time you come across this channel or rather this please kindly hit that red button and subscribe and join this family. Remember to turn on the bell so that you be the first person to be notified when I upload another new video. I love you guys and I appreciate your kindness and generosity. Yeah, we have it's a new year and we thank God for everything and trust God in this journey. Yeah, I hope everyone is fine and everything is okay for my side. I can't complain. I thank God for everything and happy new year and happy friday yeah in this channel i do my channel is concerned life at golf countries both challenges and both challenges and benefits yeah it's all about life at golf countries yeah travel cooking challenges plans everything and more about life at golf countries okay thank you and welcome to today's video today i want to talk about uh, traveling hats parking and guide guides guide tips uh, yeah what you need to carry and what you need to know when you are coming here the first time because those days when we used to travel when i traveled on my first time it was so hard for me to know what to carry or not what to carry what to do or not what to do that's why i see it's good to to upload this video and talk about it and also I got so many DMs people asking me Faith now you are there for years what can I carry when I'm coming so in this video stay tuned and make sure you watch until the end and kindly subscribe and support your girl here and I will appreciate and also remember to give a like give a thumbs up leave a sweet comment and also Turn on the bell so that you'll be the first person to be notified and you share me, share, share to your friends. I know there are so many people who are wishing to know more about life at Gulf countries and they are maybe somewhere they want to come to these countries. Without much further ado, let's go straight to the video and remember to subscribe and share my video. Okay, thank you so much and welcome to today's vlog. Today's video, guys, is about traveling hats and parking and also guide train yeah what you need to carry when you are what you need to pack when you are traveling in these countries and the first thing is clothes uh, we have two season in this we have two season uh, we have summer and we have a winter right now we are in we are at winter yeah and winter normally start at at october and at may maybe at uh, end of march or at the beginning of April and from there it's winter for six months it's summer for six months so you have to consider to carry two types of clothes you have to carry the right clothes and the 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 heavy clothes specific jackets and the sweater if you have to yeah you have to carry them so for the ladies also you have to carry your brass and your panties yeah and make sure they are cotton yeah, because heat here it's not it's very it's unbearable and for a for men don't carry shorts just carry your pa, your sweet panties and the t-shirts and also for ladies carry the tights and the tights and also t-shirts is very important yeah because it normally depends about dress code normally depend where the kind of work you are going to work uh, if you are going to work as a house guard or a domestic worker or a nanny or a teacher, most of people, most of, most of them, either in Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Oman, everywhere, in any country, they are ordered, they are given uniforms. And you find those uniforms, maybe they are so right. Now you have to wear something else inside, you have to wear a t-shirt and a tight inside in that uniform when it's winter. Yeah, so you need to carry them. And when it's very hot, when it's summer, you don't need to wear more extra clothes inside. 
and maybe it also depend with the kind of work because if you are working as a security uh you are working outside so the heat or the cold is very is harsh so you need to carry jackets if you are coming as a security or a cleaner because cleaners they normally go outside to open places but if you are coming as a domestic worker it's easy because you find you are given you have been provided uniform majority of people they are provided uniform you don't work with your clothes or if they are, you are not provided uniform they do buy for you so it's easy so you need just few stuffs like panties and bras for ladies and also tights and it may be poor neck poor neck yeah poor neck and for men you need only sweat panty sweat pants and t-shirts yeah don't carry extra clothes yeah that's enough for you and the thing you need to carry obviously you have to help you with your passport because you can't travel without your passport and sometimes you need to have a hard copy visa but in Saudi Arabia you are not supposed to have a, a hard copy visa because it's always stamp in your in your in your in your passport so in other countries you shall you you needed to maybe you are needed to have a copy a hard copy visa so you have to you have to have a hard copy visa to so, to show in the airport but in Saudi Arabia you don't need a hard copy they do stamp their visa on the passport so and also so important uh, if you are if you are in a free country a free country means a country like Dubai Qatar Oman Bahrain name them but expect Saudi Arabia Saudi Arabia is not a free country Saudi Arabia is not a free country so the work you come to work you will work that work until you resign and you go back to your country so there is no way you are going to shift that work if you come here as a teacher it's very hard to shift to go to another job if you come as a house girl you will work for a house girl for two years and you return to your country or you renew the contract if you come as a driver if you come as a nanny if you come like a anybody any if you come like any any career or any job you come with that's what that's the job you are going to work until you renew your contract or you end up you finish your contract but in other countries we have they have an opportunity you can you have that chance you can change your work so it's very important to carry your documents if you have a degree or diploma those certificates they are very important just to carry them because some days it can be come at better days maybe you are working as a cleaner and there is this job you are qualified with and they give you opportunity you apply and you get that good job you have that opportunity to change the job but in Saudi Arabia you can't so if you are traveling in Saudi Arabia don't carry documents they are, you will come with them and will be and they will not help you it's better you keep them in your country and also don't carry your ID especially when you are coming to Saudi Arabia don't carry your national ID Kenya national ID you don't need it here they don't even recognize it you, will, you are going to be given your permit your resident permit ID here all countries you are going to be given but don't carry when you are coming to Saudi Arabia Kenya national ID also I think in other countries you don't have to carry them because there are those people they do carry their IDs maybe from the country if you are Nigerian or uh, Ugandan or Ethiopians in a country but you find them they lost here you replace them you don't know where you put them and when you go back in your country you still need them so just leave your document just leave your ID your national ID at your country for your country leave it there don't come with it here yeah I hope they have you understand each other and also if you are in another country just remember to carry those documents if you have a, a document a certificate a diploma a degree in any course you can carry and maybe you can get your rack and you can change your job so it's very important to carry yeah and also for ladies you have to carry Ladies, you have to carry your hair products like the braids if you normally twist hair and also remember to carry the sanitary towels and you, buy, you carry them in a good number. Just carry more because you never know the place you are going, how things are. So it's very important to carry and 
If you are those people who normally breathe here, it's good to carry your breath and you carry your combs and your your face mask, uh, your face cream and your lotion, body lotion. Carry those stuff. Just carry them, and they will help you. Before you know what what next or where to buy them, you will suffer. So it's good to carry, and you remember to carry the the combs because these people they have uh, their hair is thick. Even for men, their hair is very easy to comb. So you find our hairs are a bit hard. <laughs> You know the condition of our hair as Africans. So you need to carry the Afro comb. You remember that Afro comb, it will help you because you will be surprised. You go to the market to buy that comb and you can't get it. So with the condition with the, with the condition of our hair, either you are a man or a female, just carry that comb, Afro comb. I will put it here if you cannot know what is Afro comb. And the braids, if you have to, you normally braids your hair. And also the hair products, they are very important. And your face cream and your lotion. And remember when you are packing, you are packing them, don't pack them on your handbag or your school bag. Because you find in airport some freight that does not allow so many stuff. So, and they, they are those freights and majority they don't allow. So pack them in your suitcase under and then you put your clothes. You, sorry, they are safe there, but if you carry them, they will they will throw them away or they take those. The, at airport, they normally terminate them, so it's, they are no need to buy and then you lost them at airport and they are the one who will benefit with the people at airport. I'm talking according to the experience because I once I buy it and I never knew the flight was not, we are not supposed to enter with it in the flight, we are not going to board freight with those sensations. So I threw them, I left them at airport. There were no benefits, so I lost them in at airport. So it's good to cut to put them on your suitcase. Don't put in your school bag or in your hard bag. Just put for emergency. We really carry just few in your handbag for emergency. You know if I say emergency you know what I mean. Yeah. So just carry to panty in your handbag and some pads or also carry the cream just few don't carry so much the rest put them on your suitcase in under under your suitcase put them in your suitcase okay yeah but for them for men you are okay because you don't have emergencies yeah so it's good to be wise because if you came here Maybe you have a stopover. You will be surprised to see you won't get your bag. You can take even three days according to your destination before you get your main suit, your suitcase. So if you left everything in the suitcase, you will be surprised and you will suffer. Though maybe some airport they provide, but you might suffer. It's good to be aware and to pack them in your handbag or in your school bag. That is for ladies, okay? And also avoid carrying avoid carrying big cameras if you are traveling in these Gulf countries because it's not allowed. Avoid carrying drones. If maybe you are a photographer or a YouTuber or a content creator, avoid carrying drones. Because these countries with cameras is very, very restricted. You might not allow to pass them in airport, so you end up losing them. It's good to avoid the drones and the big cameras. You can carry a small camera. Nowadays we have smartphone and smartphone there we can take good pictures. So if you don't have a small camera which you can hide or which it does not show much about filming, it's good, it's not bad to carry it. But the big cameras, the huge cameras, you are not supposed to carry them because you might lose them and they will not allow you to pass with them. This country are very strict. Even the which countries are free, you are not allowed to take images and videos anywhere. There are those places you cannot feel in, so be warned and just avoid those, avoid big cameras and drones, yeah, when you are coming. And thank you guys, enjoy watching, I really appreciate. In case this is your first time come, you come across this channel, kindly smash that subscription button and like this video and share and comment and also if you have questions i want to give you my number but i will give you my handles 
uh, follow me at Instagram at Faith Warao. Let's contact there and I love you so much. Bye. Let's meet on the next video. Thank you so much and I love you all and happy new year and happy weekend. Mwah.